I'm back down on the coast today. Decided to, uh, after last week's video, I decided to throw my lighterweight gear on. So I brought a tent with me. I think it's the first time I've done a video of a tent actually. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to start off by thanking everybody uh, for the response to last week's video. I, I've got to be honest, I was a little bit nervous putting it out there. It's, uh, it's a long video. It was a long video, uh, but the response was really good. Lots of people watched it, had a fair few comments, um, you know, which is great. I'm glad it was well received. So, uh, thank you. Back in an area that I've been to a couple of times recently, but I'm going to head up onto the cliffs and see what I can find as far as a spot up there. Got my little bush box. I'm hoping to have a little bush box fire tonight and uh, cook up some food. What have I got tonight? I've got some lamb steaks. I've got uh, some stir fry veg, which I'm gonna do. And uh, marinated the lamb in, uh, in some mint and rosemary. So that should be lovely. It's on the bone as well, I like little cutlets. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. So I'm gonna go. And you can see that up there behind me. I'm gonna head up there now, up to the top. And uh, yeah, see what I can find. Right, that's it. I've had to come back down. I, uh, I had a look on Google Maps and looking at it, I thought I found a flat spot up on the top, right up on the top. I even thought I might be able to get down uh, to a little beach on the other side, but uh, <laughs> I just realized it's, it's pretty much a sheer cliff. So, uh, so yeah, that isn't gonna happen. Uh, I then climbed up to the top, got some nice drone footage actually, so hopefully that'll be on here. Uh, but <clears throat> yeah, when I got up there, it was super steep and there was no flat spots at all to put a tent. So I'm gonna shoot back down here now. The light is fading drastically, rapidly even. Drastically? I don't know. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get myself back down there quick and uh, find a little spot. Hey everyone, so that's camp all set up. Uh, the light disappeared very, very quickly. Um, we don't get much time at this time of year, obviously with uh, it getting dark. So uh, I've got the bush box lit in front of me, um, which I'm gonna just feed. I've got a nice big pile of sticks over here, which I've uh, collected from the beach. So uh, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and enjoy. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the the evening really. It's food time. So there's in this lot, I have got some sweet potato, 
some courgettes, some onions. Uh, what else is in here? Some peppers. Also some tomatoes. So I'm going to cook this up to start with. And then I think I'm going to have to transfer it out. And then I've got lamb to go with it. Some lamb cutlets. So then uh, I'll put those in afterwards. I'll try not to burn it as well. I've got a horrible habit of burning things. I've realised spicy spice on this as well. I've already put some rosemary on the lamb. I'm going to put... I've got my little spice kit that I use. It's a great little thing. I've got a little bit... I'm going to lay in pink salt. A bit of that. Uh, a bit of pepper. Black pepper, lovely. That one there. And then I'm going to go, because I've got a bit of rosemary on the lamb, I'm going to go with some mixed herb. I noticed the last thing I cooked, after I cooked it, when I took it, I think it was on, um, which camp was that? It was one of the beech tree camps, I think. I noticed when I took it out, the foil, it all looked like, it looked a bit like gruel. <laughs> It didn't look overly appetizing. It would taste very good, but it didn't look very appetizing. Right, I'm going to call those, that veg, done. Because it's. I always do this, I go too far and then it's burnt. Yeah, so this has been uh, marinating some garlic and rosemary all day. Put in some oil in the container. Oh, that smells incredible. There we go. So we've got a couple of lamb cutlets and then some mixed stir fry, our peppers, onions. Um, what else is in there? There's some sweet potato cut up into little pieces. Um, courgette. Zucchini, I think you call it in the US. Zucchini. Or is that cucumber? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Let's get tucked into this. So we've got peppers, a little bit of pepper. Mm. I wouldn't normally put tomatoes in something like this. This is very Mediterranean, but we'll um, we'll go with that. Oh, oh they're well good as well. Some of the fat as well, and here a bit of lamb. Whoa. Oh, almost lost that, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's good enough for Mr. Brown. I don't know if you can hear that behind. The waves are still crashing on the beach. It's lovely. <clears throat> Keep the fire going. Bit of... Mm. Mm. Gotta love a bit of lamb. Gotta love it. I think, am I right in thinking it's not that popular in, a, in uh, the US? I'm sure I've heard that or seen that. Hmm. Right, I am going to tuck into this. It won't take me long, I'm sure. And I'll um, come back to you lot in a bit. Cheers. Ciao for now. Right then, it's... Uh, about 10 o'clock. I'm gonna hit the hay. For me now, the fire's still going. 
there's a time lapse on that's gonna capture the night sky tonight so that should be quite nice but uh, yeah I'm knackered been a busy week I'm looking forward to listening to that um, those waves crashing so uh, I will see you lot in the morning thanks for following along Um, it's early doors. The sun's not up yet. It's still dark out there, but uh, I got a super busy day. I got lots going on today, so I've got to get my butt in gear. I've got a 20 minute walk back to the car, so I'm gonna do what every wild camper dreads. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, I gotta get on with this. Get some coffee on. Hey morning everyone. Uh gotta get myself packed up. I've got my got my coffee on down here. Um but I just thought I'd take a quick second to uh to show you around what I'm using today. It's a little bit diff it's a it's a little bit different to what I've used recently and um yeah I thought you might be interested to have a look. So uh, um my tent of choice uh, is the um, MSR, uh, it's the NX Solo, so uh, single man, it is, it is in a pitch first which is a little bit annoying, that's the only real downside I can find to it but to be honest I've used it on the coast to coast where it rained every single day and only one day did I have a problem and that was just through sheer tiredness. I stupidly put the outer on top on it backwards twice. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to do it. I realized my mistake. I took the outer off, I put it back on and I'd put it on the wrong way around again. Um, and just the sheer amount of, it was that misty uh, rain that just saturates everything really quickly. Um, yeah, and it did get the inner wet, but I mopped it up and uh, it dried out really quickly. It was dry by the morning. I think the, the ventilation through it, which I think personally is really good. Um, so yeah, I've never had, there were, I, I stayed away from MSR for a long time because I'd heard about condensation issues. I have never had that problem. I'll say that. Um, although I believe they have updated the, the, uh, the ventilation on them. So uh, that's that. I've just tied it down with rocks today. So I've only got one rock at the back and one rock at the at the front over here um, and that's uh, that's enough other other than that it's completely freestanding so I'll try and take you inside all right so I'll take you inside you can see this very well so a good size vestibule inside here I carry a little Robins uh, flat pack table uh, and then behind that uh, is my plate and frying pan and stuff. Uh, keep a little sit mat out here that I can sit on during the night. And then inside it's a solo tent so there's not a huge amount of room. Uh, but I've got my Thermares Questar. It's the 20 degree version. People people who've been on this channel will uh, will recognize this. Uh, and then I've got a Trekology pillow that is strapped uh, and a thermo rest which is flat. I've already let it down. Uh, and then I have started, this is fairly recent actually, uh, I don't know how well you can see that. I've started putting my, my bag in there just as a bit of a pillow and it's so far it's working really well and then just down the side of me I don't think you're going to be able to see any of this bit too dark but uh, just in there I keep my little possibles pouch uh, and there's enough room on either side of you to keep a few little bits and bobs if you need to uh, but that kept me warm and toasty last night 
think it got down pretty certainly down into single figures last night and it, it kept me lovely so uh, right well my coffee is on so that's going I've got to get packed up and I've got to get gone so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you there yeah that'll be it that'll be it for today um, I don't think there's anything exciting for you to, to see on the way out, so uh, I will take this opportunity to say um, thank you, dude, thank you, dude, uh, for following along, everybody. I really do appreciate it. It's great. Uh, it's lovely to see the comments that people... Oh, the, the kettle is boiling. Lovely. Um, it's lovely to see the comments that people are putting and uh, saying that they're enjoying the videos, um, and I'm getting new subscribers and, and all this kind of stuff so you know um thank you very much um as i said i'm not going to ask you uh to to thumbs up and you know and subscribe and all that do it because you want to do it um and uh and then i know it's real so uh um thanks again look after yourselves be good to one another take care of everyone around you um, and be the friend we all want to be. <laughs> Take it easy. Thanks, everyone. videos it must be my lucky day go on click one <laughs>